Hi everybody, my name is Tim Gresh. I'm a professional bike fitter in Westchester, Pennsylvania. This video will be on cleat position and how to adjust side to side movement, also known as Q factor, but we're going to call it foot separation width. Uh, before I begin, if you like my content, please subscribe or like, preferably both. Um, this channel is kind of reaching a milestone soon, a uh, thousand subscribers, so help me to get there. Um, I appreciate your support and I'll continue making content um, as long as it makes sense. So thank you. Now, foot separation width is our distance of the foot from the center line of the bike. And when we move the cleats on the shoe side to side, it's going to change that distance, either in closer to the bike or further away. Now, why is this important? It's important because if you are pedaling your bike with your foot, um, let's say in this position right here, and then your knee is kind of pushing down and tracking outside of the foot, then you will get knee pain at some point. I'm gonna show you an example of this in a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. What we want is for your knee to be pushing down pretty much over top of the foot or inside of the foot. Now, um, I actually had a YouTube viewer uh, come into the studio for a bike fit recently, and they were actually a great example of where we needed to adjust their side to side uh, cleat or foot separation width in order to get them in a more comfortable position and more importantly, a position where they uh, will not get injured. So check this out. So here's before we made any adjustments and the feet are just in a little too close to the center line of the bike. So we need some more foot separation width just to get those feet over the knees a little bit more uh, straight up and down. Um, I actually moved his cleats all the way out to get the max stance on the cleat, but it wasn't enough. So what we did was we actually went ahead in the after here, uh, where you can see the feet are further from the center line, uh, we put longer axles on. Um, so we did have 53 millimeter, just stock normal pedals. And then we put on some speed play 59 millimeter and that got us where we wanted to. So the cleats weren't quite enough to get us to where we we needed, but that longer axle did the trick. And as you can see here, uh, much improved. Okay, so there you have a real world example of where this has been applied. Um, so what are my recommendations for you? Well, first off, if you are getting lateral knee pain, then I would recommend to go ahead and adjust your cleats so that you have the maximum foot separation width. That should help. Now, as you saw in the video, um, just by moving the cleats themselves may not be enough. Um, it's fairly common for that to be the case. So when this happens, we need pedals with longer axles. Now, fortunately, this is something that does exist. It's not as readily available as I wish it was. Um, this topic is somewhat similar to crank length in that it's not discussed enough in the bike industry. Um, in the case of crank length, it's why you should go shorter. In this case, why would you go to a longer axle? Um, but we do have options. So listing that here would be um, at the top speed play. Um, in terms of a road pedal, I think they do the best job at offering axle lengths. Uh, their longest one being about 65 millimeter, which will typically accommodate most riders that um, really need um, a lot of foot separation width. Uh, next to that, in the road platform would be Shimano. They actually make, I believe it's their Altegra pedal and a plus four millimeter axle. That's really cool that they do that. And the Shimano road pedals are super common. They're probably maybe second to the look pedals that you see out there. So shout out to Shimano with that plus four millimeter. And then next, um, this is moving more to like an off-road pedal. That would be SQ Labs. Um, this is a company that I was introduced to fairly recently. I just had a customer come in with their pedals on and uh, they make a, a bunch of different lengths, which is great. Uh, only caveat is that their pedals are not quite at the level of like a Shimano XT or XTR. So if you're like a racer or someone that's kind of really riding hard, these probably won't be secure enough for you. Um, so 
yeah, there's your option. Um, and then uh, last one would be, there's an, uh, an item called knee savers, and this is basically an adapter that will thread onto your pedal and extend it way out. Um, these will give you up to about 20 millimeters of extra foot separation width per side. And I've used those before in some cases where we needed a lot. And just to keep the price down, you don't have to buy a whole new pedal. You just put that onto your existing pedal. Um, so there you have it, foot separation width, why it's important and how to adjust it. I hope you find this helpful. Thanks for watching and enjoy every ride.